They're amazing. The carbon chinos are absolutely awesome. So that's like a cow, sheep, goat, Italian, quite soft, but get it out half an hour. It's a really good runny dipping. And then give me a good strong blue, the Beauvale, or just a nice stilt, a really nice strong stilt. Because you work with it every day, there are some points where I'm just like, that's it. It's a little bit like Michelin star chefs and they go over and eat beans on toast. Not that we're anything like that. My name's Mark. I'm one of the co-founders of Froth and Rind, which is a cafe deli um, set here in lovely Walthamstow Village. Uh, we've been going for about just under two years. We sell coffee, cheese and craft beer, which are the basic fundamentals of life as far as I'm concerned. Everything's cheese based as you would expect. So we do cheese toasties, we've got a staple five, we do a cheddar and onion toasty, we do a blue cheese and fig, goat cheese and piccalilli, raclette and serrano ham, and Emmental and Chorizo, there are five staple toasties. Our idea was we wanted to try and get cheese that you couldn't get anywhere else. We spent a lot of time going around visiting dairies and stuff. So we get, you know, stuff, we used to get stuff from Somerset, from Cheshire, um, and the supplies are great. I really like dealing with small local independents rather than, you know, big, you know, sort of faceless organisations. And I think it's what makes us different. Before I started this place, I worked for a number of brand design consultancies up in town. Did that for about 20 years. My business partner knew I was into cheese and we were, he put a tweet out one night and said, look, we're thinking about starting to sell cheese in Walthamstow and kind of took it into kind of meltdown. So we thought, right, there might be something in it. So we started selling at local markets all around Walthamstow for about six months, just basically selling cheese to try and get our name out and about. Um, and then this place came up and we were like, it's prime spot, it's a great location. Um, didn't think we'd make a business selling purely cheese, so we thought we'd maybe diversify into some good coffee, craft beer, um, and that's kind of how it all started really. In here at seven, get the place ready to open at eight. Monday to Friday is very much kind of um, regulars. It's it's mums um, with kids, deliveries in and out all day long. So we, we get through a lot of cheese, we get through a lot of soft drinks, we get through a lot of, you know. So once you've been working, dare I say, the corporate world for 20 odd years and the opportunity comes up to do something for yourself, um, it was a massive risk. I mean, we, we had no idea when we opened this place whether anyone would walk through the front door. We've never done any, anything like this before in our lives. My business partner, he was in, he was a business analyst. So we kind of felt like we were winging it a little bit. And there's kind of still a part of me that thinks that we still are. <laughs> but we seem to be getting away with it. The challenges are more on us and the demands on our time. In that if we're not here, you know, we, we, we close on a Monday, but Monday is admin day, so it's paperwork all day long. Um, so you never really get a day off, so to speak. And I think that's the biggest challenge is, and it's actually physically quite demanding. I, I never thought it would be this hard, being on your feet from eight in the morning till five o'clock in the afternoon. It can be quite, yeah, I'm, I'm getting a bit old. I'm, you know, it's, it's, I'm beginning to think it's a bit of a young man's game. A bit of a chatterbox. Um, so, over the two years we've been here, we've developed some really good relationships with customers, and I, you know, um, I'm sure my business partner sometimes it will drive him mad. You know, I quite like just standing there having a good chat, um, and you can see the tickets piling up a little bit, and then you know, it's like, right, okay, I've got to stop, I need to get on and actually do some work. Get yourself out there first before you before you actually invest in a property. If you can do things like local markets where you're thinking about setting up your business, fantastic. So you know the risk then is minimal because you're you know you're you're basically doing markets. Um, you haven't got the you know business rates, rent, and all that kind of stuff. Um, do your research into what people want. 
which I know it sounds like a bit of a cliche, but you know, it's kind of we did six months of you know literally trialing different cheeses every di every week to find out what people liked, what they didn't like, and then just go for it. Just go for it because you know, from my experience, it's been the most tiring but brilliant 18 months that we've had. The old guys didn't really think that it would be that important. They didn't, they didn't believe in it at first, but I kept trying and getting them to do it. But literally, we started it last year sometime, and uh, like three days in, we got an order over, over Twitter, a brand new customer over for Christmas, asking if we do things, and then he'd come in. So it, it showed from three days how important it is.